In the aftermath of the devastating storms in the United States, several parts of the country are struggling to get back on feet. The state of Washington saw its worst flooding in a decade, with rivers overflowing at more than 18 feet. This has resulted in flooded streets. Members of the U.S. National Guard had to evacuate some residents and fill the sandbags. Adding to the concerns, heavy rainfall is once again expected in the area in the next 48 hours, along with the prediction for floods and landslides. It was pretty intense because we haven't really dealt with a flood. I know it, this used to be my great grandma's house and it had flooded in 96, um, a little bit in 07, but not as bad as it is now. Um, so we just never, we've been here for the last 10 years and we never really anticipated it to be this bad. So we, me and my dad did what we could. We just got off of quarantine COVID. So literally the day of, after we, me and my dad, ran out and tried to get as much sandbags as possible and it didn't really help. My garage is totally ruined right now, everything in there. Um, yeah, no, it's been a mess. It's been a real big mess. Meanwhile, in Texas, residents woke up to the sound of a heavy thud after a metal roof of a building crashed into the middle of the road. I'm hearing the rain and the wind, and then all of a sudden, just a huge noise. Boom! That sounded like a freight train hitting a brick wall. The tornado has an estimated wind speed of 73 to 112 miles per hour. It touched down in Texas, while uh, an EF0 of uh, reduced wind speed was confirmed in Alabama's capital, as per the United States government agency. The number of tornadoes has been on the rise. More than 3,500 storms have hit America in the last three years. Earlier, parts of Kentucky, Virginia and New York were covered in six to eight inches in a snowstorm. The snow storm was the second to slam into the eastern United States in a week. Last week, the region was blanketed by a foot of snow that caused massive disruption of activities and stranded thousands of residents. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.